the question about whether uh, Carla Homolka should have been given the deal she was given or not, and whether or not it even approximates anything that's fair, um, is something that continues to be discussed and debated, uh, and sometimes even vigorously in cyberspace and at cocktail parties all around uh, the country. Um, the it's it's one of those moot deals, one of those things that elevates to macabre cocktail uh, chatter, because the fact is, she was given the sentence she was given. It was uh, within the framework of the judicial system that we all apparently subscribe to and cherish, and that was the decision and it's final and it's over and she's in, in 2015 she'll be celebrating the 10th anniversary of her release from jail as a completely restored fully free citizen without any restraints and she now lives very well uh, between uh, Guadalupe a French protectorate in the Caribbean uh, with her husband and three children as of today at, with that present count and Montreal, where they live in the summer. So I don't think that anybody would say that this was fair, but it doesn't matter. Otherwise, I don't think she has a sleepless night. Paul Bernardo is a seething cauldron of uh, regret, and um, he's sitting in a room smaller than my smallest closet, which is about 8 by 10, maybe 6 by 10. And he sits in this room 24-7, every day, day in and day out. The only requirement that the prison authorities have is that he be kept alive, therefore he has to be in isolation, and is and that he be given an hour of exercise a day in a yard by himself where he walks around in circles. He invariably, uh, because human beings are uh, terribly adaptive, he has undoubtedly adapted to this life uh, in terms of accepting it is his fate. But as some of the people that I know who are... Um, employed by the correctional services system and a few whom I know who are very familiar with his circumstances and who in fact uh, are in charge of various aspects of maintaining the unit uh, where he's held, the isolation unit where our prison systems hold what the cons call skin beefers, people who have murdered women and young children and uh, teenage girls and done pedophiles and done, you know, there's not that many of them, but they tend to be held in absolute isolation. And Canada boasts an incredible record of not having lost one of these kinds of prisoners since 1974-76, when they lost one in a prison riot. But since then, they have not lost, they, they, these men and Paul Bernardo among them will die in prison in isolation. And one of the very uh, experienced and seasoned uh, guards uh, down in the institutions where he's being held said that it's very clear when you look at these circumstances that it would have been a far better gift to all of these men, any of these men, had they been given the needle or hung because their life is worse than death.